Hey guys, Zach Uwak here. This is part four in my How to Build an Obby series. Today, we're going to learn how to make a moving platform that players can step on. It's a fun and challenging obstacle for players. By the way, if you don't understand something in this video, I recommend you to watch my previous Roblox Studio videos. They really help you navigate Roblox Studio and learn scripting. So first, log into Roblox Studio and go into your Obby game. Now add a block. Move it to where you want. Now scale it and play around with the settings until it looks good to you. Rename the block to Moving Platform. Next, add a script and rename it to Moving Script. Delete the default code. Now let's write local part equals script dot parent. So for this script, we're going to be using a service called tween, which basically animates an object to move. So we're going to be using this service to move our platform up and down. So I'm going to assign tweening to a variable. Next, create another local variable. This is going to give information about the tween. Next, go inside the parentheses. We're going to add the parameters for the tweening. The first number is how long it will take for the platform to move bottom to top or vice versa. Let's just say two seconds. You can adjust these variables if you want. Next is easing style, which is how the platform moves, like linear, random, or elastic. I'm going to put linear, which is just normal. Next is easing direction. Let's put enum.easingdirection.out. This means it'll just move nice and straight towards a single direction. Next is how long this will repeat. Let's put negative one. This means it'll run forever. The next one is a true or false value for whether it will be reversing or not. We want it to reverse, so let's put true. The last parameter is how long it'll stop after reaching the top or bottom. I'm going to put 0.2. So now we are done with the parameters. Now we have to apply this tween to our part, the moving platform. This is how. Write local tween equals tween service. By the way, this is the variable we created earlier, right here. Now we need to give this some variables. First, give it the part we need to be tweening, which is the first variable we made, this. So just enter part.
Next, add tween info, which is all the parameters we entered earlier. Then we need to give it a position to move to, which is basically the part's existing position plus around 20 meters or so. And then inside these parentheses, add 0 for x, 20 for y, and 0 for z. And lastly, to run the script, write tween semicolon play. Let's test it. Hmm, for some reason the platform isn't here and it's not moving. So what's wrong here is there should be a comma and a space here. And also we forgot to anchor it. Now let's test it again. As you can see, the platform works perfectly. Okay guys, that's it for today. I hope you learned something new from this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below if you have any questions. See you in the next video. Bye.